share with you my recipe for my egg loaf. It's uh, eggs, sausage, any kind of sausage you want, spinach, and I add cheese at the end because sometimes it kind of burns on top. Um, I created this egg loaf because I was tired of eating a little muffin and not being satisfied. With the egg loaf, you can select the size, you can slice it up, and it's portable, as portable as an egg muffin. But sometimes I'll make the egg muffins and one is not enough. Um, it's just, it's not, it's not enough. I end up taking two and then leaving half of one. So one and a half is usually enough for me. But I figure uh, if you're having a brunch or if you're having some kind of event that you want to be fancy for, um, because I think that food should look pretty. Um, before you eat it. It should be appealing to the eye and I think this loaf is beautiful So watch and see let me show you how to do it. It's very easy All you need is whatever sausage you like. I like this sausage because it's pretty low in uh, fat and uh, High in protein. It's 11 grams of protein per link. I usually use about three three and a half links per my loaf depending on you know how much meat you want in the loaf you don't have to use regular sausage you could use regular breakfast sausages um whatever you want to put in the egg loaf whether it be vegetables um asparagus um just make it pretty make it how you want it put whatever you want you'll need about a cup a cup and a quarter of uh dried spinach um two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream or you can use half and half if you don't want to use the heavy whipping cream um, and I use about six eggs and some seasonings whatever seasonings you like um, yeah kosher salt pepper um, whatever uh, garlic onion powder oregano however you wish to spice it but remember less is more here we go Get, get your pan hot, cut up your sausages into quarter pieces, and you want to hear that sizzle. You don't want to overcook your sausages because they'll become tough and when you cut into your loaf everything is going to be moist and tender and your sausages are going to be kind of dry. So you just want to partially cook them. Let's get to the next step, the egg. Salt and pepper to taste. I, I'm not going to put any of the spices in here. Put your two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Perfect. I use a five and a half by three inch square pan because I like the loaves to be small, but you can make them as big as you want. You could use a regular sized loaf. So this is the key for me. I'll spray it down with some vegetable spray. And I'll line the bottom with some parchment paper to ensure that my loaf won't stick. and then spray it again. Make sure you got the corners tucked in, otherwise the egg will run out by the edges. See, perfect. Line the bottom with some sausage. 
and you're going to start the building blocks. So Okay, now you're going to put some of the filling in, and again, you're going to line it up, as much meat as you like. Just like making a lasagna. You're going to layer it, and it's going to come out so pretty. And don't worry about a little bit of overflow because uh, once it's baking, it's going to kind of poof up a little bit and then it's gonna deflate a bit. So just make sure that you line a baking sheet with parchment paper to ensure that the drippings don't dirty your oven. So try to fit in as much spinach as possible. That's gonna come through in the decor of the uh, loaf. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to use those other spinach. So try to use as uniform as possible pieces of sausage for the top, uh, straight ones, because once it cooks, the sausage, sausage pieces will bubble up to the surface and you just want them to look pretty. All right, so you're gonna pour You're going to pour the rest of your egg batter. Make sure that it's going down and that all the crevices are full. Okay, I think that's enough. Tap it a little bit. You don't want any bubbles down there. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees and you're gonna cook this for 25 to 30 minutes. Just keep watching it, every oven is different. So this egg loaf took a little more than 30 minutes to cook, about 35. Uh, however, I have left it in the oven, turned off the oven, left the door a little bit open with a wooden spoon so that the loaf can absorb heat and continue to cook in the center, but not burn. Hi, the loaf has finally cooled and I'm about to cut into it to show you how beautiful it looks. Um, let's see. So, like I said, the beauty of this is that you can select the size. It keeps in the fridge up to about a week or so. And... I'm using a bread knife to cut into it. What else would you use for a loaf? Um, it is so pretty. Okay. And this, my friends, is the beauty of the egg loaf. The sausage, the spinach, it's a work of art on a plate. And you get about, uh, I would say about uh, eight servings. You can slice yourself a piece a day or two and sprinkle on some shredded cheese of your choice and enjoy the beauty of it is that you get to select the size no more egg muffins for me okay i hope you like the recipe and you make it take care bye